Now I could stop doing clan battles or naval battles or something, but while I'm trying to get the ribbons, I don't think I can play Kaga. Uh, Groff Zeppelin would be similar, unless we could get secondaries, but we would need teammates to give us smoke for that. So, I don't think I can play that right now. Plus, I haven't played them. Action stations! So we'll try to do a standard scout. FDR fires a ton of rockets, yet again it is an FDR. I mean, yes, the FDR could theoretically spam a bunch of ribbons, but it depends on what kind of flak we're going into, because if we get to attack into a, a hard ball of ships, we get to attack twice, because all the rest of the planes get fried. So. We might get ribbons, but it depends on how many times we get to attack. And if they just slaughter all the planes too quickly, then we don't get to attack. Fighter airborne. Could strike the Talin. I think that's what I might do here. So I, could, I should be able to pen the Talin because I have 28 millimeter rockets. So we got 13 there. Oh fuck, it's an oyster. When the oyster opens up, we're dead. So we need to get this drop yesterday. I don't think we let enough there, but it'll be okay, I guess. So we got a bunch of ribbons there, that's good. Double fire might actually stick. Probably does, he, I think he might have put out the first fire. British rockets can savage lightly armored stuff. Tier 8 cruiser is going to be covered in 27 mil, and we have 28 mil rockets, so not a joke. I feel like the Talen has probably been mauled to the point where well, no, he's still got... still actually has quite a lot of health Get left. Back. Okay, block the Stalin AA. We have a shot on the Rishliu, we just don't have sh multiple shots on the Rishliu. Plus there's a DD in Bravo. Cool. We torp the Stalin. Stalin's in smoke. Decent damage. Eight hits, double fire. Rishliu is letting the fire burn. It's a little strange. Might have to reverse a bit. Autopilot mode enabled. Rishli is still letting the fire burn. Do we have any vision of this at all? No? We know where an oyster is, we just don't know where the other stuff is. That's either a Benson or a Benham. Well, we see the Stalin at least, I just don't know why we see the Stalin. Benham. That would make sense as to why he smoked early. Probably accelerates out of the torps. Uh, we could bomb the Richelieu again. Not one, but he did accelerate out of them. Destination reached. Autopilot mode disabled. Uh, we might be able to get two strikes on the Richelieu. Maybe. It depends on how much damage we take from the Stalingrad. Then again, there might not be a Richelieu to bomb twice. We have an engine boost. We could probably be aggressive with this. Should be behind the island for the most part. We'll drop a fighter for generic spotting. Fighter airborne. There's some Stalin fun. Jump any flak that's coming. And we 
really haven't taken much damage at all, which is pretty cool. Head out, start to turn. See the planes in the distance start to turning. Turn around. He's down. Can we bomb the Bismarck? I mean, the Stalin's not going to do anything. It's just going to shatter. But it looks like the Stalin's becoming a focus target, so that's good. We'll do that. How many ribbons? Uh, we still need a bunch. We could rocket the Bismarck? And this flank is falling, which is a problem. Autopilot mode enabled. How many do we need? We have 52, 59, 60, 70. We're close. We are close. Keep the fighter up for spotting. Talin is actually low. AA starts 5.2. Duck down, turn in to get the angle. Don't have a heal. Fighter airborne. Uh, we get two. I don't think we get three, though. We did get three. Nice. Can we, uh, can we angle drop him? So I don't think we can drop with the island in the way, but if we kind of, like, run at an angle... He might be able to get hits that way. He's dead. We can take rockets for the Talen. So many people sharking around in mid. <clears throat> Caps would be good. If we can get the Talen, then the Oyster can contest, maybe? Kagero's playing back. Kag could probably outspot the Venom. Marceau is scary, though. Marceau's full health, that's brutal. Fighter airborne. It's from what, the Hindi, I guess? Right. Three second lead time. One, two, three, shoot. So close. Destination reached. Autopilot mode disabled. Audacious planes are pretty tanky. Oysters lit. I think we have this. One, two, three, shoot. Cool. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. Autopilot mode enabled. Oysters fighting each other. Could try to take rockets for that. Could also try and torp the Yamato. Well, if he probably gets burned down. Oyster is winning the fight. So, perhaps if we had taken rockets, we'd be able to help with that. I'm just super concerned that this guy's, like, full health and is going to throw his weight around. So we'll try to focus on that at the moment. If we could get floods, that'd be really cool. Uh, Venom AA is going to be terrible. We get one Torp out of that. He's not really moving forward very much. Nope, we got three. That's cool. He has not put out the flooding. We get two more there. We can Torp over the island. Oyster is not trying to kill us, so we can keep helping. Monty might be looking for a ram. Other flank still completely broken. Let's take rockets for the oyster and try to give away in so we can get a fucking cap. The enemy team has taken the lead. How does that sound? Even before the rocket nerf, CV's not gonna have a good time versus a Marceau. Yeah, it's not. We destroyed an enemy battleship. So Benham's back there, waiting for the Montana to get close enough to kill it, so. Get back! Whatever. And then we could try to work on the Marceau here. Or the Oyster. If we can get the Oyster... Well, the Marceau might also be looking for the Monty, but... If we could get the Oyster... 
Then that gives us our first cap of the match, which would be cool. The enemy team has taken the lead. The enemy is about to win. We got some damage. This dude's gonna land some hits. We don't have to go back in on that. So we can save our health. It's not gonna do anything, but it'd be nice if we could spot this Benham. Fighter airborne. What the hell's over here? A Montana and an Edinburgh? Cool. Fighter's latch, actually. He's gonna lose planes. Unless he recalls. He does not. Daka Daka. See if we can find... Fuck. So, I'm shooting to actually immune out some of the damage. Because obviously we weren't going to get anything there. I don't know where the, uh, the venom is. So that's a problem. Fighter airborne. Whatever. Come on, DDs. Hey, bro. Teammate, I need your support. Go in the direction of the enemy. Where the fuck are you going? The enemy is about to win. Maybe he's AFK? He's gonna have an Edinburgh, which means we don't get to strike twice. Where is the Edinburgh? Could probably strike the Edinburgh and then swing in and strike the Montana. Full speed over and try looking to wrap. Well, there's the Benson. Our CAG continues to run. Truly a champion. Rockets for the Edinburgh or the Benson. Seven hits and a fire. It's not burning. We could try to bomb the Montana again, but I think we have to strike the Edinburgh. That's really too bad. Benson is. That's cool, right? It's not helpful, but I mean, it's more than nothing. We should have enough ribbons, so I don't think I'm too worried about that. Ag continues to run off to nowhere. Oh, I don't be like that, Tremex. I need support. Anybody? Bueller? Montana split off from the Edinburgh, so if we save our boost, we could strike him twice. Strike her twice. Big hits there. The hell is the oyster? Okay. Well, fuck yeah, friend. That's actually pretty huge. The enemy is about to win. It's pretty decent. To put out the fire. He did. So we have to linger. Destination reached. Autopilot mode disabled. See if he, uh, see if we can maybe strike post damage con. Let's 
single fire. Not great. Autopilot mode enabled. So the Benson might kill us. It's certainly a thing. Fire's gonna help. If we can reset a fire, that would be good. Forces. Capture that area. Oyster actually kills the Benson, which Fighter is cool. Airborne. We chiseled enough off the Benson that I think the Oyster will take it. Then we need to kill the Montana somehow. Battle ends in five minutes. Hmm, seven bombs probably stupid. Because we'd want to interact with him twice. Oyster should kill this. There we go. He does. The enemy is about to win. All stations, defend that area. See if we get a damage con, maybe. <laughs> One. Okay. Autopilot mode enabled. Uh, with two thousand health, unless it's the Benham, he's pretty dead. So. These guys need to move into a position that matters. It'd be nice if our CAG wasn't, you know, didn't put himself in timeout. Floods, please. Multiple floods, please. Sounds like the Flintstones. Flintstones. Floods, please. Give me floods, please. I would really like to kill this guy. 30 seconds. We might not get to shoot again. He steps on B though. That gives us a minute. We might have him dead in a minute. Autopilot mode enabled. His engine's still out, so... I don't know. Maybe we get lucky? Again, the CB throws the match. Okay. What did I throw? You want me to cap Charlie? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Maybe that's what I was supposed to do. Supposed to cap Charlie. <laughs> we did get enough ribbons there, which is cool. How many ribbons do we need now? 